in this lesson we are going to now look a bit more into semiconductors okay so earlier we have learned the band theory of solids which explains the conductivity of various materials okay so we have seen the reason for conductivity of semiconductors as well what is the reason the reason is for a semiconductor you have a completely filled valence band right and a completely empty conduction band now your electrons in the valence band when they are excited by your thermal energy they move on to the conduction band creating a vacancy over here which is known as a hole okay now this hole results in a current in the valence band as well as due to this electron which is now present in the conduction band you have a current in the conduction band as well and this is the reason for conductivity of your semiconductor okay in our semiconductor this band gap is relatively smaller as compared to a insulator therefore its conductivity is greater than insulator however unlike your conductors or metals there is indeed some gap which is not present in your metals or conductors okay because in your conductors your conduction band is anyways not completely filled and your electrons can get excited to the next higher available energy level which is in the same band okay without going through this energy gap therefore the conductivity of a conductor or a metal is going to be very high as compared to the conductivity of a semiconductor okay so a pure semiconductor is said to be a intrinsic semiconductor okay so in an intrinsic semiconductor what you have is the holes which are created due to excitation of electrons from your valence band into the conduction band okay so your number of holes is always equal to the number of electrons okay because when is a hole created a hole is created when your electron is getting excited to the conduction band so it leaves its place from the valence band at this place a hole is created and electron now resides in your conduction band so your number of holes is equal to number of electrons in a intrinsic semiconductor okay we've already seen that my conductivity is given by n into e into mu right where n is the number of free electrons e is the charge and mu is the mobility okay now in your semiconductor we learned that current is due to the current due to free electrons as well as the current due to holes okay therefore the net conductivity is equal to the conductivity due to my free electrons plus the conductivity due to my holes okay my free electrons are in the conduction band my holes are in the valence band okay since i have current in the valence band as well as in the conduction band my net conductivity is due to the conductivity due to free electrons and the conductivity due to holes okay so you can just use this formula over here so what you get is your net conductivity is going to be n e mu for electrons let's just say that my number of electrons is n okay we are talking about free electrons okay because only the free electrons are supposed to conduct the current right so n is the number of free electrons into e where e is the charge into 